I'd like to yell about sofas for about 17 to 32 minutes. Can we do it? Will you hang with me while we do it? Have you heard of this company? Have you heard of this company? It is called Lovesack. Lovesack. It is apparently um, a great company. They think they're really good at stuff. I go on here, shop sectionals, okay? I bought seven seats and ten sides. Okay? It was about seven grand when I ordered this. Okay? If you don't know, here's how it works. They have things called seats and sides. Okay? This is what it looks like. Seats and sides. Oh, my God. They really want to get you. And how it works, hold on, they're loading my 3D experience. Seats and sides. So there's a back here, which is called a side. You can use it as a side or a, or a back. And then the seat piece. And then you can put these together to build kind of anything you want. It's like Legos for furniture. You see this? So you can build like anything you want if you have enough seats and sides. <laughs> um, but holy shit, are they expensive? And I pulled the trigger on it. Seven thousand fucking dollars for shit for fucking furniture. Do you understand the madness behind that? So you think it was you think it would be nice. People are telling me, calm down with your sofa spending. I you know, I can't help this. I need stuff. But I go into the Love Sack store. Now they have these stores. Please couch this bit. So I go into the Love Sack store. You know, you want to see this thing before they do it. And they have the whole experience. You make an appointment. You go in. I go in two times to this Las Vegas store. This is a big purchase. This is a big purchase. You know, I'm asking them what I need. And the great thing about these things, uh, you can make them like uh, shallow seated sofas or you can turn the cushion sideways and make them deep seated. They're, they're cra it really is like Legos for sofa. I'm on board. It was started by a Mormon man in college or something up in Ute. Ah. Uh, so I order these things, but I go in last weekend for my second visit. I go into the Vegas store. There are two people working, a uh, a woman and a Ichabod Crane skinny AF, tall AF motherfucker. Now, this guy, the woman, she looks normal, whatever. This guy, and, and you know, you're only allowed like one customer in the store at a time. Like this is how they're doing this, this is a small little, you know, store. So I make an appointment. I go. I'm walking in there. This motherfucker is in black jeans, a black long sleeve shirt, black rips in the jeans on the knees, like a, like a girl, you know, who really enjoys punk shows, and um, and he's got a black beanie on. He's got the he's got the gauged earrings with the big black hoops. He's got um. Uh, nose rings, lapel rings, you know, it looks like a, a hog in some sort of fair, but he's very thin and sunken cheeks on his beanie. It says pure hate. It says pure hate. Now I am not the most um, business like dresser in the world. And I don't run a professional company. If you were employed by this podcast, I'd let you come in here every day with some shirts on and some hats on that say pure hate. I think that's cute that you're still in that Spencer's gift phase of your life. I bet you have black life marijuana leaf posters, you know, cool, 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 cool stuff. And I don't want to be the one to hate on your individuality because I think it's key to our future <laughs> is making you feel hurt. Now, if I 
ran a company and employed you in customer service. This isn't like, you know, this isn't like he's the guy developing the 3D experience on the website for customers. This is the guy selling it to people face to face, wearing a beanie that says pure hate. You know, what am I to think if I'm just a mom coming in to buy a sofa for my kids and my ragamuffin dog? Hi, we're here to buy a th- ah! Pure hate! We came here after church. We were going to have CPK and get a sofa. <laughs> Pure hate. Pure hate. You know? If that's what you want to wear to the million man madness, <laughs> fine. If that's what you want to wear to the Imagine Dragons concert in the park, fine. It's a little weird for you to show up to work where you have to meet strangers and, you know, convince them to buy a product, you know, under the bag, by the way, of the, under the badge, by the way, of the Mormon flag. Pure Haitians. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. That's a weird, come on. That's a weird one. That's a weird, I'm in your store. You know, trying to decide whether to spend $7,000 on something for my ass for the next decade to be comfortable on. You know, how about you take off your super aggro hat for the next six hours during your shift? I'll even let you put it on during your break when you walk over to Wetzel's Pratzel and get yourself a, a corn dog. You know, I, I don't get it. dude. I would like, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't allow it. If I were running a, a, like a legit business where people where people were supposed to like you know treat each other with some sort of am I wrong? Pure hate. This isn't the same as like um, you know you going in to get uh, surgery done and your doctor has two full sleeves of tattoos. It's like that's fine, not my concern. I can give two shits what you look like while I'm bleeding out on the table. Do you have degrees? Do you know this procedure? Cut away, sir. Or ma'am. Or Z Sim, sir. <laughs> I can't wait till this get back gets back to the CEO of Go Die Couches Inc. Yeah, right. Right. Does this guy know? And by the way, who's the manager in here? And by and this is going to sound sexist. I assume it was the woman. I assume we didn't let this uh, male version of Daria become the runner of this branch. Right? Like weird stuff. Weird stuff, man. It's a lot of money to be spending. Could I not be greeted with just an outward, you know, to, and by the way, I don't want to be triggered about it. I just found it odd. I found it super funny. I didn't bring it up. I didn't mention it. I didn't care. But if I was running the business, it'd be fucking insane. Imagine a bank teller wearing a hat that just said, fuck off. Next in line. <laughs> like It's insane. How can I help you today? Pure hate. I'm getting mixed messages, love sack. <laughs> 